Hello, everybody. It is Thursday, October 17th. I'm Laura Rogers. This morning, severe storms are sweeping across Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri. At least 17 tornadoes have now been reported. In addition to the damaging winds and hail, the big concern is flash flooding. With more than six inches of rain already falling in parts of Oklahoma, ABC's Kenneth Moten has the latest. In Auburn, Alabama, three police officers were shot last night near Auburn University after responding to a domestic disturbance. According to authorities, when the officers arrived, they were met by a suspect with a gun. We are one week away from Kentucky's primary election. It's next Tuesday, May 21st. By this point, you've probably seen and heard from three of the Democrats on the ballot. Did you know there's one more? The Courier Journal describes him as the perennial long shot and he hopes to be the country house of the Democratic primary. A Cumberland County man is facing DUI charges this midday after a deadly crash. It happened Saturday night just after 11 o'clock on Kentucky 90 in Burksville. Here we are now just one day away from Kentucky's primary election. We'll elect or re-elect several state offices this year including the one of Attorney General. Will Schroeder is a Republican candidate running for Attorney General tomorrow. How are you feeling? One day feeling away. Good. This midday, the Warren County Sheriff's Office has released the name of the victim in an overnight crash on Morgantown Road. It's time to stand up and cheer for dear old Western. Today is the annual chili and cheese luncheon benefiting Junior Achievement, which kicks off the festivities. Kentucky airline pilot charged in a triple murder case in Christian County was arraigned Wednesday. Christian Martin is accused of killing Calvin and Pamela Phillips and their neighbor, Edward Dancero. His attorney said Phillips was scheduled to testify in court martial proceedings concerning Martin, but the nature of his testimony was unclear. In November 2020, the state of Kentucky will decide to either send Mitch McConnell back to Washington to represent the bluegrass in the U.S. Senate or elect someone new. One woman who hopes to be on the ticket is Democrat and retired U.S. Marine Corps Lieutenant Colonel Amy McGrath. It's nice to see you today. Great to be here. Yeah. And so, Amy, you know this is a tall order. Mitch McConnell, he's the most powerful person in the U.S. Senate, been there since 1984. We have 127 women serving in Congress right now. Yeah. Higher numbers encouraging we could do a lot better do we you can. hope to inspire more women to run for office I are a pilot piloting mm -hmm. requires precision a little bit of a rocky takeoff to the campaign do you think that you are precisely on message now heading into this Memorial Day weekend you may be wanting to hit the water over the next few days you can also take in the water an incredible talent at Cirque Italia the first traveling Italian water circus only one of its kind in the country. They're bringing their newest show, Aqua, to Bowling Green. We have brothers Alex and Bibi Acero, clowns Hi. and ringmasters in the show. Great to have you. Tell us how Cirque Italia started. Okay. Perfect. I am afraid to move my lips. <laughs> Chris Meyer was killed, but Holly miraculously survived that attack. She's the only survivor among the infamous railroad killer's many victims. And she's in town today for a special presentation at Sky Pack. And also, you wrote a book about the attack, the aftermath, your recovery, your healing called Soul Survivor, which I told you I devoured this in two days. The book is incredible. Was it cathartic for you to tell your story in written form? Umbrella lovers, now we're getting ready for another big release from Marty. His first new album in 25 years comes out this Friday. We're gonna talk to Marty here shortly, but first, here he is. This midday, authorities are on the scene of a wreck involving a city vehicle in Bowling Green. It happened just over an hour ago on River Street. You see here, it involves a Bowling Green Public Works vehicle. Bowling Green police says a car crashed into the street sweeper and the driver of the car has been taken to the hospital with injuries. There's an escalating battle over abortion in states around the country. Anti-abortion lawmakers and activists pushing for and passing laws that limit abortion rights. The goal is to get the issue to the Supreme Court and possibly overturn the landmark Roe versus Wade decision. Another state now looking to join the fight. We talk a lot about improving affordability, accessibility yes. for a lot of, of low-income people, the yes. disabled, seniors. So I would consider myself middle class. I'm fortunate to have an employer insurance plan. It costs me $200 out of pocket every time I go to the doctor till I meet that deductible. It, right. I mean, don't you agree? That's too expensive. It is. Every you say you want to see people earn a living wage. You say it's just, it's long overdue. Does that mean that you want to see us increase the minimum wage? Well, it's a, it Yeah, it's certainly hitting a lot of families hard. Exactly right. And it is yeah. devastating to a lot of 
of families. Big news story this week has been the anti-abortion legislation. Mm -hmm. We've seen that passed in several southern states. Of course, Kentucky passed similar measures this most mm -hmm. recent legislative session. So where do you stand on that? Would you defend that legislation uh, here in Kentucky? What? I want to talk more about that bipartisanship because yes. you are state minority leader for the state House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. And I had the opportunity to watch a televised debate with yes. you and your primary opponents last night. And in your opening statement, you say we need to bring Democrats and Republicans together. <clears throat> there is so much divisiveness in politics. Yes, there the is. most I've ever seen in my lifetime, I would believe, in national and state level. What do we need to do to bridge some of these differences? Well, <laughs> back now with travel and culinary <laughs> journalist Melissa Corbin, who was recently in Emilia Romagna, Italy. She's bringing a little taste of that region back here to da, South da, da. Central Kentucky. Now you're getting into the good stuff. We have a big guest on today's show and he really is big, Matt. He's 6'8". Tyler Maine is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Hollywood villains such as Halloween's Michael Myers and X-Men's Sabretooth. He's in town for Vet City Con and we catch up with him here in the next 10 minutes on Midday. And food fight. Not really, but cafeteria food has come a long way thanks to farm to school partnerships. Jennifer Sims is the 2018 Kentucky Art Teacher of the Year. She's also director of the Horse Cave Cultural District and camp instructor for Horse Cave Arts and Sciences Camp coming up in June. So tell us who is this camp for? Kelly is right across the bridge. We're going to walk over to her shortly, but can you all believe it? The sun has come out. The showers have subsided and we are between artists down on the Budweiser Forever Country stage behind me in the area of Ascend Amphitheater. The next artist to take that stage is Rita Wilson, who most people know as an actor as a producer, she's married to Tom Hanks. They're a Hollywood power couple. We've got Party for the Arts coming up May 16th at Sky Pack, and Dillard's is the presenting sponsor. That's where we are today with Danica Spurlock Tester, which if people have walked in your store recently here at Greenwood Mall, they've seen this great display you have right up front. You've collected so many nice things for the silent auction. This midday, we have a first look at Galaxy's Edge, the highly anticipated Star Wars park at Disneyland in California at 14 acres. This is the biggest Disney expansion ever, bringing fans to a galaxy far, far away. Marcy Gonzalez has a preview. Chances are you've seen the Groovy Gus Donut bus around town because let's face it, how can you miss it? Right, it's so visible, so yeah. beautiful. We love the vibe. Cindy Ream, Thank Steve you. Garden, great to have you. Cindy, tell us the inspiration behind the bus. Oh, Chris, it's so beautiful out here. Great day to take it all outdoors. You can dine al fresco. You can prepare your meals outside. We're doing some grilling. We got Caitlin here from Kentucky. Yes. Beautiful. Great to see you again. Good to see you too. 